roses are red, violets are blue. When the Z Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time, and it starts now. All right, and uh, don't forget you can catch up with all your old War of the Roses and Dirty Works and all that stuff uh, in the Odyssey app, or you can go to our website, z 104com They're all on the podcasting page as we welcome Kristen to the show. Hello, Kristen. Hello. So I guess the first thing we should get out there is we are testing a husband, but not your husband, correct? Correct. So who are we putting to the test today? My sister's husband, David. Okay, so your sister is married to David. Why are we putting him to the test? Because he constantly lies to my sister about where he's been. He's an irresponsible husband, and basically, I don't trust him. (laughs) Wow. Okay, and what's your sister's name? Kelly. Okay, and she's your younger sister, older sister? Younger. She's the baby. I'm the oldest. Oh, okay. So the big sister protection tendencies come into play here then. And you said in your email that she has no idea you're doing this? No, 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 no. I told her a while ago that she should do it, but she's completely in denial. Okay, I gotcha. Is she going to be mad that you went over her head and did this? I mean, she might be. But if my suspicions are right about David which I think they are, then I don't think it's going to be me that she's going to be angry with. Well, that's a good point. Okay, so you're obviously familiar with all this. What we're going to do is call David up, offer him a free dozen roses, and you can send anybody you want, and you're going to get to hear who he chooses and what he puts on the card, okay? Yep. And before we get started, I have to ask if you're okay with all this going on the air. Oh, absolutely. Darling at random. I'm calling to speak to a David f- please. Uh, this is David. Good morning, David. My name is Tracy, and I'm calling from the Visa Rewards Program. How are you today? Uh, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I was calling you today was to let you know that we started a new promotion this year where every month we draw the names of random Visa users, and we reward those people with a little prize as a way to say thanks for using Visa. And this month, you were one of our winners. So congratulations. You said I won something? Yeah, you sure did. All right. Uh, what's in, what do I win? Well, the prize this month is actually flowers. So it's a bouquet of long stem red roses. The reason I called you is because a lot of the men who won didn't want flowers, of course. But they asked if we could send them to their girlfriends instead. So is this something you'd like us to do with your flowers? Or did you want us to send them directly to you? Yeah, I'm not going to need flowers, so I get, uh, send them to somebody else, please. Uh, that'd be awesome. Okay, no problem. I just need the first and last name of the person you want me to send the flowers to. Uh, geez, all right. Uh, I guess um, you can send them to, uh, her name's Nikki. Uh, the last name is D-E-L. Okay, and the flowers are going to come with a card, so what message would you like us to print on the card? Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, hang on, uh, let me think about this. Uh, put down, um, uh, kids are back in school. Let me know when you're ready for some adult swim. Okay, you are f***ing disgusting, and you're a f***ing cheater. I knew it. What? I knew this would happen. I told my sister to divorce your lazy ass a year ago. And this rich. proved that I was f***ing right. Oh, hey, David? Yeah? So listen, um, this isn't really the Visa Rewards Program. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. And right now, you're on War oh, of the Rose. Say, God. Yeah. By, by the way, that you, voice. You, know, you recognize that voice. As soon as she started screaming like a god harpy. Yeah. Did, now listen, did you want to explain what that whole message was about? Well, well maybe yeah, you yeah. sent somebody flowers that wasn't your f***ing wife. First of all, settle down. I don't have to explain anything to you. I'm not married to you, thank God. Okay, so what was up with the flowers, though? Did you? Why did you send them to this other person? And what was up with the adult swim thing? So every year we have a pool party for some of our friends who have kids. And we have it the first week the kids go back to school. And then we usually invite uh, a bunch of people over. And so I figured, why not just use this flowers and note to just uh, send it to invite them over? But you didn't invite them over. There was no them. You invited her over. We're inviting a bunch of people over. One person. You you know, you're a nosy bitch. Your own sister can't stand to have you at our house, so why don't you worry about not being in our business? 
First off, you invited one woman, woman over. One specific it woman. Was, Second, I'm not going to send a flower to her f***ing husband. You come over during the daytime because you're at home alone while my sister works to support the family because you're lazy Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know what? I work f***ing hard. You're full of You know that? My job oh, was oh, yeah. because of COVID. You know, you, you know what? Right. I, I got laid off because of the God <laughs> pandemic. Oh, so your legs are broken? You can't go out and find another job? There's no other opportunity? Okay, to okay, guys. Yeah, listen, and what do you, what do, you do? Guys, guys, I think we're getting a bit off track here. So, David, you're saying that you sending this woman flowers, that was just a friendly invitation to your little back-to-school pool party then? Of course, yes. Of course it was. That's all it was. He's lying. He is such a Liar. You are a no, liar. You're, you're, an, you're an idiot. You're insane. That's your opinion. You have no uh, idea uh, what's right. going on. I'll tell you what. I, I'm reading some text right now. Nobody else seems to believe you either, David. It, 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 they're all wrong. It doesn't matter you're what anybody else thinks. It, right. it, it, it's totally above board. Let, let, let's open this up to the audience here. If you think David is lying, call us up real quick. 473-1045. And if you think he's telling the truth, same thing. Give us a call. Either way, give us a call and tell us what you think. <laughs> 